It is with great pleasure that I speak to you today about the central role that CAMSTAR is playing in Cats Cambridge's development plan and its approach to learning and career and professional development. It is my very strong view that while the purpose of all schools is to elicit learning in their students, the importance of teacher learning to that process is often forgotten. At Cats Cambridge, I'm always keen to highlight that teachers should be as expert in, their, in, in the art and science of learning as they are in their own subjects. Our understanding of how we learn, along with many other aspects of our cognitive lives, is still evolving. Much of the research is conducted by those who are not teachers. It falls to the teaching community to understand what the research is telling us and how it might inform professional practice in the classroom. Or for that matter, how it might inform the way that schools are run. It is difficult to see how either can be accomplished without in-classroom and in-school research undertaken by the people who are leading learning be that the learning for students or leading the learning among the school's adults. This is where CAMSTAR is providing us with the structure, expertise, external perspective that is needed to craft and complete effective in-school research to the benefit of students and their teachers alike. At the very core of the approach is professional dialogue. That dialogue depends on an openness of classroom and school culture that can be very difficult to achieve and maintain. Teaching is a remarkably challenging profession. It is also a profession that is largely undertaken in isolation. Teachers spend most of their working lives as lone workers. Traditional feedback loops tend to be infrequent and often long after the fact. Am I actually doing a good job is rarely an easy question for a teacher to answer. For sure, I have yet to meet a teacher who does not want to feel that they are doing a good job, but that is far from the same thing as being confident that they are actually doing a good job. As Antonio Damasio says, humans are feeling machines that think, not thinking machines that feel. The psychological stakes are high when appraising the efficacy of one's own teaching. The thought that I might be doing a bad job likely incites uncomfortable feelings. Those feelings may of course prompt us to better efforts. Equally, they may be quenched by quietly ignoring the facts. It is this latter feature of our natural predisposition as humans that we will always tend to subordinate facts to the maintenance of a positive self-image that is captured so nicely by Will Storr in his book, The Science of Storytelling. Our brains make us feel as though we are the moral heroes at the centre of the unfolding plot of our lives. Any facts that it comes across tend to be subordinate to that story. If the facts flatter our heroic sense of ourselves, we're likely to credulously accept them, no matter how smart we think we are. They don't, uh, if they don't, our minds find some crafty way of rejecting them. This is where professional dialogue is needed. It is probably the only way we can overcome the confirmation bias that is integral to our psychological makeup. We must accept that our ability to consider ourselves and our actions objectively is, at best, flawed. We need others to help us to navigate to a clearer picture of reality. This is where properly supported, trusted, expert, sympathetic, empathetic, critical friends, coaches and mentors are essential. Each of those characteristics is key to successful professional dialogue. CAMSTAR provides the foundation stones on which to build a school-wide capacity and capability in professional dialogue. In Sue Brindley and Dr Mike Walker, we are able to access deep academic knowledge and extensive practical awareness of professional practice in the classroom and in the leadership and management of schools. They have already proved outstanding critical friends, ably assisting us in recognising truths even when those truths are uncomfortable and then supporting us in the formulation of our research responses to those truths. I am very conscious that endeavours to adapt to one's teaching, in, uh, teaching practice in the midst of a busy term is, in any meaningful sense anyway, is akin, as one teacher remarked to Dylan Bullen, um, to trying to undertake in-flight engine repairs on an aircraft. Similarly, shifting the course and culture of a school is akin to changing the course of the proverbial aircraft carrier. In both cases, you need to know where you're at and where you're going to. Sensible research is the only way to know either with any confidence. The research needs to be done properly and enthusiastically. It needs to be something that people choose to do. It is this last point that highlights the great distinction between pedagogy and andragogy. The success of the latter requires individuals to have a real sense of agency over the process of their learning. Without it, the natural immunity to change will kick in. It is not me that needs to change to learn, it is others. 
If it is to work, individuals need to come to their CPD as willing and active participants. The CPD itself needs to be crafted to the individual. This is the great strength of the CAMSAR approach. I am delighted that we have made such a promising start with nearly 40% of the teacher community at the college joining one of our six research strands. It gives me great hopes for the future as we aim to establish ourselves as thought leaders in the international boarding sector. One of my favourite observations about teaching is that it is a great job, possibly the greatest of jobs, because it matters. Equally, it is one of the most challenging jobs in the world because it matters every day. Educators owe it to themselves and, to be frank, to their students to do everything in their power to continually appraise their professional practice and to have proper support in doing so. This is why we are adopting professional dialogue and active in-school research as the linchpins of our college's development plan. I encourage everyone to embrace both, embrace both professional practice and active research at the, as central parts of their career and professional development.